Well, so here we are. This is uh, Harry Potter, the Hogsmeade area from uh, USJ. Uh, these buildings are pretty impressive. They're, they seem to be full size and the entrance is amazing. Uh, you can see the train over on the right hand side. It's, uh, it doesn't seem as busy as I, as I thought it would be. So uh, that's pretty good. Um, well, the area is quite spread out. Ah, uh, there we have the train. Wow, look at that. Looks great. And then we have maybe shops, I think. So, uh, yeah, there's quite a few people, but uh, it doesn't seem that busy overall. Uh, I must be doing pictures there. What to do first? I think it's going to be inherently obvious what I want to do first. I am going to get myself a butter beer. Okay, hello, so, uh, yeah, here in uh, lovely Harry Potter area, so I should get myself a butter beer with the mug as well, so uh, let's see what this is like. Oh, it's very good, it's like a uh, lightly fizzy butterscotch with a green topping. Oh yeah, that is really good. Very creamy, very, very sweet as well. So uh, yeah, cheers. I'm in the uh, hog's head. <laughs> Thank you, Minion. Uh, I'm in the Three Broomsticks uh, pub from Harry Potter. So uh, uh, I'm pretty hungry. So uh, it's been a long day. I've been up since 3 a.m. Uh, the Skiji fiasco was a bit of a nightmare because we couldn't go to it. So uh, we got up for nothing. But uh, we've basically ordered three meals because there were three things that, that I wanted to try. So uh, we got three meals worth. So uh, I'm pretty hungry. I, I think this is going to be a challenge. So I've had, I've had butter beer. Now I'm going to have real beer, which uh, is this nice, this uh, hog's ale. Uh, and I've got shepherd's pie, which is here. And Cornish pasties here, uh, salad, then we've got fish, chips, tartar sauce, more salad. And my peasant minion has nothing because they're not worth any food. Uh, also got uh, malt vinegar as well, so uh, I'm going to enjoy eating this while my minion watches. Well, so uh, here we go, this is the taste test. So we have the uh, Hox Ale beer, so it's like a special brew. It smells quite strong, so uh, let's see what it's like. Oh, it's nice. Mm. Yeah, that is nice. Um, it's quite a rich flavour. Uh, reminds me a little bit of a mixture of Santori premium malts, and it's got a kind 
kind of black beer taste to it. I mean, if you, I don't know if you can see the colour clear enough, but it's, it's a dark beer. It's not really the usual golden colour. It's like a brown colour, kind of like half and half. But it's, it's pretty nice. Reminds me a bit of like the Ebis Red Can beer, which was like a half and half beer. So it, it's pretty good. I like it. Mm. Cheers. So, uh, today's almost finished. Um, just been relaxing in uh, three broomsticks for a little while. Um, it's uh, It's been quite a busy day because we got up at three. Uh, I already said that earlier, but got up at three. It's, um, it's what, seven o'clock now, so we've been awake quite a long time. Uh, so much so that I've had to have a second beer. So this, this one's a half and half uh, mix. So, uh, Give this a go. Oh yeah, it tastes a bit like a mixture of black beer and stout. Uh, it's bloody nice. It's really good. So um, yeah, today um, I've done so much today. So uh, did did the Resident Evil like uh, escape part? It's a bit confusing because. Um, like my, my team was pretty much all Japanese people, so uh, I was kind of left out for part of it. Um, but it was mostly like going around trying to figure out puzzles and clues, and they give you like a tablet computer, and you've got to try and figure out the puzzles on it based on things in the, in the actual building. It's, it's spread out over like four floors, and there's zombies hanging around and things that will scare you and stuff. You've got to take pictures of things and figure out clues based on what you see in the areas. So it was quite, quite a challenge. I mean, it was uh, the, the the tablets actually have a language changing option, so we could have done it in English, but I was the minority, so we stuck to it in Japanese. So it's, uh, the others were kind of the brains, and I was just tagging along for the ride kind of thing. So uh, yeah, but it was a lot of fun. It was pretty good. Didn't get to the part where I get to use the gun though, so uh, that was a bit disappointing. But um, yeah, you've got to be pretty quick. You've got to be quick. We got to the second stage in about one hour, and uh, the time limit is about one hour. So, um, you know, if, if you come along and do it, it's going to take a little while. It's, it's not going to be something you'll do in ten minutes. So, uh, yeah, uh, after that, I had the uh, the captain's meal from Shingeki no Kyojin, which is basically like uh, uh, baked, a buttery baked potato, uh, some nice bread, uh, and uh, kind of like clam chowder sort of soup, like vegetable soup with uh, meat and stuff in it, uh, as well as uh, uh, they had meat as well, like on, on the side sort of thing. And it, I think it was like a rose tea, like iced tea, and it, it was really good. And uh, I, I ate that just waiting for the Water World show. Well, after that, basically went on to. Went on to Waterworld, like an attraction to, to see that, and it was pretty good. There were lots of explosions, lots of water spraying out. I was quite lucky, didn't really sit at the front. I was probably like halfway up, because it seats about 2,000 people. I was halfway back, got a clear view of everything. Um, but the people in like maybe the first six rows were getting wet a lot. Uh, especially as somebody came in, the, like the bad guy from Waterworld came in, the bald-headed guy on this big boat with a huge propeller on the back of it, backed it up, suddenly he revs it on full and all this water just sprays up. I, I got a little wet, but you know, nothing bad or anything, but the people in front of me were just drenched. I kind of was lucky because the people in front of me were a shield, so that was pretty good. Um, the yeah, show was pretty good. There's lots of fire and explosions and fighting and things, so that was good. Uh, then we did uh, Attack on Titan. It, it's more or less like uh, walking around watching snippets from the Attack on Titan TV show and like uh, learning a bit more about like the characters kind of thing and about uh, Eren changing into a changing into his Titan form. And then afterwards, uh, as you'll see in the pictures that I'll be adding. Uh, you saw the, like the real versions of uh, Captain Levi, uh, of Mikasa, uh, and of course of uh, Armin as well. So you could see you could see them what they would look like if they were actually people, and not just a drawing. So you know that was pretty cool. I took a few pictures of them, and 
Uh, Armin looked a bit weird though, his eyes were massive, he kind of looked like, uh, I don't know, like some one of the Simpsons or something, I'm not really sure. But it was really good, I took a few pictures of that, so I mean, you'll, you'll see him in this video anyway. Uh, then did uh, Evangelion. Uh, I don't really know Evangelion that well, I just know it's like, it's a bit similar to Gundam kind of thing, big monsters sort of fighting. So, uh, but that was pretty good. It was in uh, 4D, which means the seats move around, you get sprayed with water and air and stuff like that, and uh, it kind of when things happen in it, you kind of shake around, so that was pretty cool. Uh, then the main part, the best part, as to where I am now, Harry Potter, so that the Harry Potter area is pretty good. You've got Hogsmeade, which is like the main town, and then a very short walk away, uh, is Hogwarts Castle. The castle is like a scale, you know, to scale. Uh, it's a scale size replica. Um, and that, that's like one of the main rides, which is called the Forbidden Journey. Um, it's the first roller coaster I've ever been on where you sit on it sideways. You're not going this way, you're going this way. So you kind of go off, but. The, the whole ride is a mixture between real life props and uh, like uh, actions and animatronics coming out and things like that and CGI. So like when you go out to like the um, uh, up go fast. So uh, he heard me. He's being slow now. I'll have a drink while I wait. Yes, so. Yeah, so like uh, when, when you start off, it's kind of like you're, trans you're transporting through like space and time sort of thing, and then you arrive in some like um, some part of the castle, like uh, maybe in the dungeon sort of thing, and you, you're, it's like you're on a broomstick flying through sort of thing with dragons chasing you, dementors hunting you, and then you end up in a Quidditch pitch, and you're kind of flying through rafters. But because you're obviously you're going sideways, in front of you is like one of the best CGI screens I've ever seen. And then when you go through, it transfers you to a real part, which is not CGI. It's like like like, like this here, you know, it's actual things sort of thing. So uh, and then it suddenly goes back to being somewhere else, like you're in a dark dungeon with Dementors flying down at you. Then it changes to something else of more CGI, of you being chased by Dementors and escaping. And I, it was really good. So much so that uh, we're going to try and uh, go back now and do it again. Because it was fucking amazing. It's one of the best like, roller coasters I've ever been on. So um, that was absolutely brilliant. And then uh, I had my meal here, um, which is, it was really nice. All British food as well. You've got the bar just over there. So yeah, the bar over there, they, they, everything they have is British. So for, for me, being in a, in a themed place like an old style tavern, it feels a bit homely, to be honest. It reminds me of a local pub I used to go to back in, back in Chichester. So uh, it's quite nice being here and seeing that they've got like Strongbow and Carlsberg, London Pride, ESB, and then they've got like Half and Half, and then they've got Hogs, Hogs Mead as well, which is what I had before. That is fantastic. I kind of don't really want to leave, to be honest. I, I'd be happy to stay here for a couple more hours, but unfortunately, last hours are finished. They're closing, and I really want to get back on the Harry Potter ride once more because the, the waiting time's pretty slow now. So um, I'm going to finish this on quickly and then get back and try and get on that ride once more. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys a bit later.